this is MK The Truth, D-O-D-B-E-N-T. Got some gorgeous looking sneakers for us to take a look at today. If you guys are new to this channel, please, you gotta come on and join the squad. Also connect to my Instagram, it is the underscore truth underscore MK. Also, ladies and gentlemen, all music is produced by me, D-O-D-B. And I use them as background music on this channel. Now, this will be a comparison review of my representative pair and my retail pair. Always remember that my reviews are for educational purposes only. This is only my analysis. Then we jump up off this video. So let's take a look at retail first. Now, this is a beautiful packaging. Check this out. Just look at this. Look, look, look at this probably one of the best packages I've seen. Now I believe this is for the 10th anniversary for Ama Manye. As you guys can see, you got the A with the 10 representing Ama Manye and 10 years. Now this is a luxurious, I mean, look at this box. So you have some ties to uh, Converse, Jordan and Nike. If you guys didn't know, Nike owns Converse. So let's go ahead and get into this beautiful, beautiful packaging. So you pop the top on you and you got these beautiful A's like take a look take a gander at all of the intricate details that's going to be on this shoe now if you didn't know this is a woman's shoe yeah I know I know y'all get the woman's shoes that you like but sometimes when the shoe is ugly for the women you complain about it being a woman's shoe anyway this does come in different packaging um, I don't have my box for my representative pair this was not in there this has like this sort of a Bordeaux sort of a microfiber cloth it's not really great quality it feels okay but i've seen better microfiber cloths but i'm here for the additional pieces to the packaging now i know i'm running a little bit too long on this video you got some wax paper and here we go here we go the guts the glory take a look Ooh. now i see um i've seen some people say that they don't really like these i mean how could you not this is just like a a a, a vintage uh edge on three three black cement now i know some people saying they're not getting these because the black cements are coming out i mean that doesn't make any sense they're not even they don't even really look the same i mean <laughs> hey man you do you i'm gonna do me anyway i think this is a beautiful shoe and on top of that the edge on three black cement quality ain't gonna be nowhere near this i'm gonna tell you that right now let me say that again for some of you the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement quality ain't gonna touch this. That's right, you heard it. Anyway, beautiful looking shoe. Look at this, oh my goodness. You just got tumble leather just popping all over the place. I mean, look, look at the, good, look, at, look at this. Now I do see some things that I will compare to the other shoe. I just wanna run the review on the actual pair first and then we'll get to it. Uh, which I thought was going to be the overall shape of the shoe It's not too, different but you'll see when i do the uh comparison anyway got a little bit of schmutz right here what i'm saying so far is not too much different i don't think aside from the shape and maybe the laces i think my laces were kind of standard in my other pair anyway let's take a look at these you got some beautiful new buck on the tongue Oof. goodness gracious of course you get extra laces and these are cream wax i don't think my uh, laces in my representative pair were waxed <laughs> anyway i'm on money and 10 on the tag here then you got the nike air right there beautiful take a look at that take a gander beautiful quilted guts once again you just got just quality i mean they didn't uh stop on one part of the shoe with details i mean it's just details upon details upon details and if you didn't know once you get into the footbed you got this beautiful look at that just oh my goodness just details everywhere and there is a hidden message on the inside that says um if you guys can see this here it says while you were sleeping very very dope exposed cut on the tongue up top i do like that little addition to the shoe just a very and that's what i love about Amar Manier sneakers they just give you quality on quality they just take it above and beyond on the sneaker you do have some matte on the, the midsole here then it goes to like a semi-gloss uh on the uh this is not silk this is more of a cream uh the toe box is how i love it that very nice small toe box but i do got a little bit of a do got a little bit of a poof 
little bit of proof, of proof right there. Um, only thing I could say I see a little bit different before we get into the comparison is the maybe the height and the shape. I did not compare these before I did the video. Uh, that's what I'm gonna say I see so far. Um, normally they kind of screw something up in the preparations right here. I don't know if it's different or not, but I'm gonna say that they always kind of either bring them closer or maybe it's less of them. So I'm gonna say maybe the preparations, the height, and I think the shape is on par with each other. Anyway, let me take a look at this other shoe right quick before we get into this comparison. You did get another pair of laces, the purple uh, style lace, and this is waxed. I don't think it's waxed in my representative pair and the overall shape. Yeah, it's, it's, it seems like it's a bit shorter. So let's go ahead and get into the overall comparison. Now, here is my representative. Okay, this looks a little bit more shiny. Let's see what we got. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is a bit more shiny, a little bit darker in color as well. Much nappier suede, but that is an inconsistency. The reds down bottom, I have worn this pair, so it might look a little bit look a little bit darker if you look into the air bubbles you see there it's always like this is always a little bit foggier and that might be due to the type of air that they use i don't know it's always a little bit foggier on the actual representative pair um you can see it's like pure white and also if you look under the air bubble it's white under there where it is yellow all the way through on here the bottom did get kind of yellow on there but they kind of they kind of stopped it the matte <laughs> looks about the same come down here now the leather quality this feels a bit thinner on representative the actuals feels thick this feels very very thick this is one of the first times this uh <laughs> the actuals have actually had a little bit better of leather quality secondary mug guard feels about the same coming down here the shapes the shapes are pretty good shapes are pretty good and accurate okay all right now all right okay yeah so like i said like i thought the preparations are running okay they ran them closer this time whereas the actuals is uh, bigger and further apart see that so it's more preparations here and these are further apart the i stay is matte here where it is gloss here okay and like i said the laces are standard laces here where it is supposed to be they're supposed to be yeah these are wax so let me show y'all these right quick yeah these are definitely waxed take a look at that that's a wax yeah just didn't wax the laces on here okay and of course the purple ones are waxed as well and they are not waxed here this is standard uh, lace and wax does add a lot of contrast to a shoe so I will ding them for that the black ones are just like a, like a cotton next to a wax. So the laces are incorrect, which I'm not really too mad at something like that. Anyway, let's jump around to the boots. Be sure not to get these mixed up. Okay, we're looking pretty good. And what I said about the height is correct. The actual is a bit shorter. This, this is one of the things that they do is kind of normally run the... Uh, representatives a little bit bigger but everything else color wise is just a smidget on the shade different the Nike Air just a little bit of darker in color just overall on the uh, representative pair uh, let's see if you do have the message I do I think I do have the message on the back uh, it says do something about it that is representative and it was okay they, they do look about the same you gotta do something about it there as well so everything else uh, material wise and everything feels pretty good the satins on the inside the quilts look a little bit different in color you got a little bit more vibrant like a purplish color there where you have it's more dull on the uh, actual but I'm not too mad at that it's really not a huge huge difference the new bucks on the tongue are running about the same not too much to complain about there. The purple on the uh, Astays is a little bit dull here. It is a little bit uh, more vibrant here. I will say the new buck is looking a little bit to my liking more on the actuals than the uh, 
representative leather qualities are about the same but i will say that it feels a bit thicker on the actuals uh anything else we need to run over um i don't really see the bottoms look pretty consistent like i said i did wear these so it's going to look a little bit darker so i can't really uh compare those two but like i said i was right about the preparations that's one of the things that they kind of normally run different i think that's on purpose i know people get mad when i say that i do think that's a uh, purposely done but everything else man <laughs> The materials are phenomenal on here. The only thing I can say is that the leather looks a bit shiny uh, here where it looks a little bit more matte. I don't like the heavy texture of the tumble here. Uh, it is a little bit heavy here, but it looks a little bit more natural in this area where it just looks... I, I normally don't like this tumble. This is a natural tumble though, but above all, it's very good. So the things I see different is the higher gloss on the midsole whereas this is a little bit more a matte in line it's like a semi-gloss um the height the leather quality that is a inconsistency you could get a pair of the actuals that look like this uh opposed to this so i can't really say that but i will say the preparations the height and overall just the shape uh just is a little bit different above all <laughs> I can't be mad at it. I'm a, oh yeah and of course the uh, laces aren't wax I don't know what this is it's like a it's like a cotton or something above all man they look pretty damn good anyway let me know what you guys think about this review down below and uh let me go ahead and take one of these which one would I take from both of these I'm gonna go with the actuals because that overall uh, shortness and shape it, it has to be that shape and height these are kind of high almost looking like a Jordan 3 high so I would take the actuals over this particular pair that I have. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this review down below. This is MK The Truth, D-O-D-B-E-N-T. I love y'all. We up off this video.